Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Courtney. Today I've got another round of easy Valentine themed DIYs, but honestly, these could be displayed all year long if you wanted to. I mean, who doesn't like to receive love except maybe my dog Lucky. He's grumpy. Let's go. If you love to save those little love notes and cards, you're gonna love this. Let's jump right into this first DIY. I'm using this little gumball machine from Hobby Lobby, some of these wooden picks from Dollar Tree and some large popsicle sticks from Walmart. You wanna start by taking one of the large popsicle sticks and cutting it into rectangles. I'm going to be cutting five out of one popsicle stick. These cute little wooden sticks are gonna get a little bit butchered up here. I wanted the wooden hearts from the top part of these. And to do that, I'm gonna use my miter shears just to cut off those hearts. But if you can't find these sticks, you definitely could use a felt stickers. You could just use your regular heart stickers or you could even draw on hearts once I show you what I'm doing with these. Grab yourself a marker and we're turning these little rectangles into envelopes. I'm using these Arteza acrylic markers. I will link everything from today's video down below in the description box. So put a nice little triangle on each of these rectangles. Then with the wooden hearts where I snipped the skewers off, you could kind of see little pieces of wood. So again, I'm taking those acrylic markers and just coloring it with a little bit of red or pink. You could use paint here as well, just as a fine little detail that I wanted to do. The final step here is just to take these wooden hearts and hot glue them down onto the wooden envelopes. Now you could take this one step further if you wanted to, perhaps print out little white stickers that you put on the back of the envelope that just have little encouraging phrases, words, what have you, and then maybe do 14 of them, give this to somebody and they could pull a different envelope out each day to just have a little message of love from you. This is a great little thing, again, that you could make for a gift or you could just have it as a great display piece on a tear tray, bookshelf, or even your desk at work. You had me at a low. So how many of you love to receive flowers, maybe plant flowers, but hate the fact that they do die? Well, this DIY is for you. Grab some red felt and we're gonna cut these down into rectangles, basically just halving it, cutting it until you get the size that you need. And then I just freehanded by tracing a heart and I cut out a ton of hearts. Now what we're making is a bouquet and you will need two felt hearts for every heart, quote unquote, rose that you are making. Once the hearts were all cut out, originally my plan was to take some yarn and just to do a running stitch around the edge, sewing two hearts together but I quickly decided this is not the route I wanted to go. So I ended up starting by just hot gluing my heart until I got to the bottom of the heart and then I stuffed it with some pillow fluff. Here's where you need to make a decision. You do need to put some wire stems on these hearts now. I did um, glue my ends of the heart. I basically just filled the hearts and then I sealed them all off. You could leave the end open and then put your wire in there. I've made a project like this before and for whatever reason, when I inserted the wire into the heart and then sealed up the heart afterwards, it was just really floofy, even though I glued the stick directly to the felt inside the heart. So. I am taking the approach of sealing up all the hearts and then I am taking my floral wire that just came from Dollar Tree and I'm poking a hole in the back of the heart, inserting the wire and then just kind of securing it a little bit because you're not gonna see the backs of this because I'm using this as a bouquet that you can kind of lay down on a surface. So up to you which route you decide to go to get your wire stems put in. My hearts are all complete. You'll notice that I did wrap all of the wires with just some of that green floral tape. Now you can decide whether or not you just want your bouquet just to be the plain hearts. I did pull out a couple of different things and played around with some of these bur burlap hearts that came from Dollar Tree. I played around with putting some greenery and some florals. And in the end, I just liked it plain. So I bunched them together, took some floral tape, wrapped it around the stems, and then I just made a quick bow, hot glued it down, and then this bouquet is ready to go. Next DIY involves wood and I'm going to show you quickly in my workshop, which is a hot mess, uh, what I'm going to be using for this DIY. Let me show you. For this project, I will be using a two by four. I'm going to cut them down to about five inches with my miter saw and then give them a quick sanding. This is my Bosch 
orbital sander. So I'm gonna sand them with about 220 grit to get them nice and smooth. And just like that, my wood pieces are ready to go. The blocks are ready to get a facelift, so I'm going to paint them all with some of this plaster colored paint by Waverly. I'm not going for full coverage here. I'm just covering it till I like how it looks. Then taking three different colors, a light green, a light pink, and a light purple, I am going to paint hearts on these. Now, for the first one, I am gonna use some of these Dollar Tree stickers and take off the letters to spell out love and stick those down kind of in the center of the block. Then taking the pencil, I'm gonna sketch out a heart around it and then start painting with some pink paint. Once I get that all nice and painted, I'll pull off the love letters and it will leave a nice little kind of whole stencil vibe. Now you could just leave stickers on there if you wanted to, or you could actually use real stencils for this step. I went through and rummaged basically my entire stash, grabbing ribbons, grabbing lace, grabbing burlap, grabbing all kinds of things, trying to figure out, I wanted to do embellish just this middle one that had the word love on it. Ultimately, what I decided on is just hot gluing down some greenery and some of these little roses, and then I called it good. This is a perfect little display that you can put anywhere in your home. So I have a slight obsession with candles, and you might be thinking, oh, that's not that many, unless you look in this bag which is also full of candles. So that will pretty much explain why I'm doing this next DIY. This next project is gonna be made with some of these little Valentine teacups that I picked up from the thrift store. And then I also grabbed two of these red candles from Dollar Tree. I started by removing the plastic coating on the outside, couldn't find any bamboo skewers when I was ready to start this. So I just quickly rigged up a little toothpick and uh, scotch tape, a little MacGyver action there to get that set. Took these candles and set them in a pot on about medium high heat to melt the wax down. So I quickly did a test run to see um, how this would go. And I simply took the wick, hot glued it down to the base of the cup and then poured in some wax, added some essential oil. I'm gonna tell you about how much and all that good stuff in just a second. Now for Two of the candles, there's obviously not wicks in those, but for those, I made them so that they could be sat on one of those mug warmers. Perhaps you work somewhere where they don't let you light candles, you can simply put one of these on there and it will warm up the wax and release the scent. So let me tell you about how much essential oil and kind of show you the process of the next cup. Some of the um, Dollar Tree essential oil. This is apple cinnamon since the candle's red. And I'm just, you know, <laughs> oh, oh, there's my dog. Lucky! Uh, not really counting how much I put in there. It's just kind of a free-for-all. Do you. Do however much you like. If you like strong scents, I honestly don't even know how many that was. But uh, I like things to smell strong, so we're just going to go with that. Now it's time to pour the wax in. If you need a good oven mitt, these of gloves are the best ones ever. I will try to link them down below if I can find them. Pour the wax in, it will be extremely hot. Also protect your work surface because uh, yeah, well, let me show you why. Oh my gosh, look at that y'all, seriously. Put something down on your surfaces, don't do as I do. And we're done here, <laughs> we are done. Oh my God, okay. Looks like these candles were murdered. And all you have to do is if you made a mess, clean it up. But if you have wax paper, you simply can just throw it away and then let these cool completely and you are ready to burn your candles. There you have it, four easy Valentine DIYs, which that love letter DIY could definitely make a great gift idea. Let me know down below which one of these projects was your favorite. Also let me know what is your favorite romantic movie. It could be a rom-com. I personally love The Notebook. Thanks so much for watching guys. Here are a few that you might enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Bye.